I'm going to tell you about the day I got to direct Joanna Lumley in the morning and Hugh Laurie in the afternoon. Two A-list celebrities and me, little Neil, directing them. It was for an animation series and they were doing the voices of the, well, they were doing the storytelling. So they were the main narrator for, for two different titles. One was Fire Engine Fred and one was Ponytails. Now, can you guess which artist did which story? And they were both professional, brilliant, talented, and very, very different to work with. Now, Joanna came in in the morning. She had her keys in her hand. She says, darling, as she's dropping her keys in the hand of the runner, darling, park my car for me. Now, we're in the middle of Soho, and she must have left her car right outside the door. So the runner did what the runner's meant to do, ran, got into the car, went and parked it. And she came, oh, darling, these stories are so lovely. Who wrote them? Oh, Neil, did you write them? Oh, they're lovely. And anyway, we had such a fun time. She read the stories. We had a laugh. And at the end of the session, at the time, my dad had just had some heart surgery. He wasn't very well. And he was a massive Joanna fan. And I said, look, please forgive me, but I'm going to ask you something. Would you be willing, and I had the card already, would you be willing just to write a get well card for my dad? He's a massive fan of yours. Um, he's just had some heart surgery. It will make his day. And she said, oh, darling, of course. What's his name? And <laughs> my dad's name's Nigel. Oh, Nigel, I do hope you get well soon. Lots and lots of love, Joanna. And that was lovely. And she went off and she had done her morning's work. We had some lunch. And in the afternoon, we were sitting in the dubbing studio and this guy in black leathers and a black helmet walks in, takes his helmet off, sticks it on the desk and says, right, what do we do? Walks straight into the recording studio, got the script, did it brilliantly, as he did, because a real professional. At the end, he said, thank you very much, shook hands and walked out. Two very, very different ways of working but two very, very great performances, talented people. And I can really get to see why Hugh Laurie gets to play some of the parts he did. Now, I found out afterwards he had been on a transatlantic flight and arrived that morning at Heathrow, so he was probably a bit tired and a bit jet-lagged, but it didn't get in the way of his performances. So there you go, A-list celebrities, they're all different, they're all wonderful in the way they work, and you just have to be flexible and accept that the way they are is the way that they are. And I did, and I got a great product from them.